Hey everyone, Jim here. Um, just sharing some thoughts with you about the state of the world, the state of the union, and our state of mind. And was out for a run around the neighborhood streets earlier, and I came back, and boy, did I hurt. I don't know what I did today, but everything hurt. Everything. Starting to feel better, though. But while I was out there, of course, I'm listening to music. I'm listening to uh, bands like Trolley, Monkey Man, Fastball. Uh, music that I like. Music that is not exceedingly popular because that's a little too melodic, a little too colorful. But nonetheless, music that uh, an old guy like I would like. Um, I could hear the the fire siren from a neighborhood community, a neighboring town, a volunteer fire station where they still use a siren on top of the station to alert firefighters and EMS workers that they need to report to answer an alarm. And I could hear it even, again, it's a, it's a town that's close enough to this small city that I live in that you can hear their siren quite well if you're outside. And as I'm listening to my music, um, as I'm listening to Trolley sing a song called Alone that I really like, you should check that out. Check out a band called Trolley, uh, YouTube or Spotify, wherever you listen to your music. Um, listen to them on Spotify so at least they get some kind of pay for the stream that you listen to. Listen to a song called Alone. Great uh, power pop ballad really like it but anyway generally when these sirens blow to alert firefighters in the ms that they need to report to the station to answer an, an alarm answer a call they'll generally oscillate about seven times and i i used to be a firefighter a volunteer firefighter years ago and the small town that I lived in, maybe it oscillated 10 to 12 times if there was a fire. If there was an ambulance call, it would only oscillate once. And I think sometimes if it was an ambulance slash rescue call, say a car wreck, where you needed both the ambulance and the rescue truck, it would oscillate twice. But this fire siren atop of the station in this neighboring town it must have oscillated for 10 to 15 minutes and I found that highly unusual and I kept wondering when is this thing going to stop something is wrong here it just kept oscillating up and down over and over again again far beyond 7 or 12 times it went on for 10 to 15 minutes non-stop and I got thinking, well, maybe they're having some kind of technical issue and it won't stop. Even if it was a case where it oscillates and not enough volunteers show up to answer the call, uh, someone at the station would contact fire control slash 911 by radio and say, could you tone us out again to start another cycle to hopefully bring more manpower to the station? But... There was no break. This siren went for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm thinking probably closer to 15 minutes before it finally stopped. So first I'm thinking, well, maybe there's some kind of technical issue where it won't stop. They may have to manually stop it. They may have to cut a wire, something. But then the way my mind works, I started thinking, maybe this isn't a fire alarm. Maybe there's something else wrong. I mean, I don't know if there are air raid sirens anymore. I remember when I was a kid that once in a while uh, there would be tests of air raid sirens just to make sure they worked. I mean, this goes back into the 1960s and early 1970s when I was a young kid. They would occasionally in my area test the air raid sirens just to make sure they worked. I, I'm not even sure we have air raid sirens anymore. Uh, maybe we do. If you know for sure, let me know in the comment box. I know there's tornado sirens, of course, especially in the Midwest. 
in uh, tornado country. There are sirens on some factories that, that work with chemicals in case there's some manner of chemical leak, and certainly sirens on nuclear plants in case there's some manner of nuclear leak, some sort of meltdown. Some need to warn residents in the immediate area that they need to evacuate, take cover, or whatever. But uh, I got thinking, this siren's been going now for 10 minutes. Is there something else going on? Are we under attack? Are they using this fire siren as a de facto uh, air raid siren? So as I'm uh, pounding down the street, I'm looking at the sky, and it's a very overcast day out there today, and I'm looking to see if there's something streaking across the sky, a missile, uh, maybe some uh, warplanes. I don't see anything up there, and the siren is still blowing. But it made me think, what if we were under attack? What if it was a a traditional military style attack where say pick your country you know we we seem to have a thing with Russia right now and Donald Trump's communications with Russia and his administration's communications with Russia you know it's Russia 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 not uh, Marsha 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 what if they did breach our airspace what if they were able to penetrate what if they decided that yeah if Vladimir Putin decided that, yes, it's time to uh, to attack the U.S. They're vulnerable. We can take them down. How would we know? How would we be alerted if our military defenses weren't able to intercept them in time? Would they blow a fire siren, like this uh, siren on the neighboring town of the city where I live? Would it blow for 10 or 15 minutes nonstop? And would anybody know? Would anybody know why is this siren oscillating up and down for so long? I mean, certainly you have uh, the uh, federal alert system that, or, or state alert system that'll send you the buzzing digivoice over your television. For example, if you have a severe storm coming, would that be issued? And that thing has been tested. It's been tested recently. Strange tests of that of that have been done. Uh, not yet this year, but if you remember, uh, there were a number of states in the South where those test signals were were broadcast, indicating that there was some manner of emergency, and nobody could explain why. I think it was a test just to basically warm the system up. So when we need to use that, it'll work. But would we know? So now I think about that. What if we're breached? How are we going to be notified? If you're living in a small town, for example, if you're living in a city like I do, which is a small city, it could almost be called a large village. Not like the village that I've dreamt about. It doesn't look like that so much. Could it be that we're close to being attacked? If I was really to extrapolate this out, my thoughts, as I heard that siren blowing, was that a warning for me to be prepared because something is coming? I've been saying something is coming, and I believe something is coming. I'm sure many of you believe something is coming. We all know something is coming. We all know that we're being set up for something. Something potentially cataclysmic. We know this. You can call me a nut if you don't think so. I don't care. You call me a nut and I'll be prepared. But it got me thinking harder. Are we on the verge of something coming? Some manner of attack. Is it possible that Kim Jong-un could actually reach the mainland U.S. with one of his nuclear missiles? Is it possible that Russia or China could decide it's time to eliminate the U.S.? 
or damage the U.S. for whatever reasons they may have. Economic, of course. The powers that be, the central banks, the deep state, George Soros, and the rest of the Bilderberg slash Illuminati crew, they'd all be in on this. Even though I don't think that they have much control over Russia and China. Russia and China are wild cards. They certainly have control over the United States of America. They certainly have control over Europe. Most of the world. We are completely under their thumb. What if they decided it was time? How would we know? And me hearing that siren for so long and dwelling on it for so long as I did, was that a warning to me to be prepared that something is coming? And me telling you about it, is that a warning to you? Maybe I'm extrapolating it too far, but something to think about. Thank you folks for hanging with me this long, listening to me blather on like I have. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up now more than ever because YouTube doesn't necessarily want you watching content like this. Check out the links to my books and music. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes to the skies. And pray, pray, pray. Know Jesus. He is your Savior and Lord. God bless you folks. Thanks for listening. I will see you soon.